India has decided to defer its appeal against the EU ruling that found its import duties on some ICT products to be against global trading norms. This decision has several reasons and implications for India's economy and trade relations. One reason is that India wants to buy time to attract more component makers to India. India has imposed tariffs of up to 20% on products such as mobile phones, base stations, and cables to boost local manufacturing. However, these tariffs have been challenged by the EU, Japan, and Taiwan at the WDO. India has appealed against Japan and Taiwan, but not against the EU yet. By postponing its appeal against the EU, India hopes to create a window of opportunity for domestic producers to benefit from the tariff protection and for foreign investors to set up shop in India under the production-linked incentive schemes. These schemes offer incentives to manufacturers of electronics and other sectors to increase their production and exports from India. Another reason is that India wants to avoid cheaper imports from the EU and other countries that could hurt its domestic industry. India argues that the products it has levied tariffs on are not covered by the Information Technology Agreement (ITA), which requires zero duty on certain ICT products. India claims that these products have evolved over time and have new features and functions that were not envisaged when the ITA was signed in by deferring its appeal against the EU, India hopes to maintain its tariff autonomy and safeguard its interests in the ICT sector. India also hopes to avoid a potential trade dispute with the EU, which is one of its largest trading partners and a key source of technology and investment. However, this decision also has some negative implications for India. One implication is that it could damage India's credibility and reputation at the WTO. The WTO panel has ruled that India's tariffs are illegal and violate its WTO commitments under the ITA. The panel has also rejected all of India's arguments and justifications for imposing these tariffs. By deferring its appeal against the EU, India could be seen as delaying justice and undermining the multilateral trading system. Another implication is that it could invite retaliation from the EU and other countries that have won the case against India. The EU has already announced that it will seek compensation from India for its losses due to the tariffs. The EU could also impose countermeasures such as suspending tariff concessions or imposing additional duties on Indian exports. This could escalate the trade tensions between India and the EU and affect their bilateral cooperation on other issues. In conclusion, India's decision to defer its appeal against the EU ruling on ICT tariffs has both pros and cons for its economy and trade relations. It reflects India's strategic calculations and trade-offs in a complex and dynamic global environment.